so to get started we are going to go straight to gotekyuji.com forward slash fw now that will take you straight to a website called flywheel and uh, what we are going to do here is basically to get a software that we are going to use for our local wordpress development or wordpress website design and simply scroll down here in the footer and click on the word local and once you are here you're going to simply come over here to download and then you will choose the system you have whether you have a macbook or a windows or a linux computer and you select that since i'm using a macbook i simply select a macbook and then i can enter in my name all the details and uh, once i'm done i simply get it now so this means that i will download this software on my computer now once that software is downloaded on your computer you simply install it once it is installed then you simply open it up by searching for local and boom here it will show up now that is after downloading and installing next thing we are going to do is simply come over here and say create a new site and we are going to give our website a name the name of my website is going to be called dn consult and down here on the advanced options there is something like the local domain one thing you have to understand is that when we use the local by flywheel software that we are going to use to design our, our website we'll be designing this website locally on our computer so that means your website will not be on the internet for now i want that we can design everything and then later we'll transfer it online and this software basically enables us to build or design our website locally on our computer make changes and once we are ready then we can simply migrate it to a live server like i've told you already that we will be migrating it and then we have it go live uh, under here the advanced options this is going to be the local domain that you're going to be using on the browser okay and then uh, once we transfer our website on a hosting platform then you will have to register a domain and then get a hosting platform so that your website can be accessed anywhere in the world then right on this side you have to uh, browse where you want your files to be saved on your computer in this case they will be saved on a folder called local sites which is okay and then uh, with uh, this software you can create and use blueprints like i mean you can create a setup or a specific way that you design your website locally but we don't want to look into that at the moment and uh, if you want a separate tutorial on how to use or even to install and set up your local by flywheel software i have a video on that and please you check it up here in the card or in the description box below now once you set up or once you give a name to your new website simply continue and then we will have to choose uh, our environment so there is a custom option whereby we have to set up our you know php version database version i don't want you to go into that simply stay on the provide version then continue and then here we have to give uh, a username and a password for our website now this is the username that you'll be using whenever you want to log into your wordpress website to make changes to make adjustments and then the password is that password that you enter along with that username in this case i'm going to name this to be dn i'm going to generate a password i'll simply use this password under the advanced settings we won't do anything that side so we simply add a new site now this is going to do for us the hard work of installing wordpress setting up the database the username the php version the server version and all that stuff and this process basically takes a few minutes and once it's done automatically you'll be given a prompt over here for mac users you'll be prompted to allow installation of this new website on your local computer once you are ready to start setting up your website you receive this notification from uh, local by flywheel that shows you that actually your website is ready now the beauty with uh, this software once you are using it or once you have it on your computer installed you can design as many websites as possible by setting up over here a new website and then you are good to go at the moment we have only one website of ours and we are ready to start uh, customizing or designing our website now once you click over here on view site it will show you by default how your website is looking like now this is the default installation of wordpress 2020 okay and uh, how do we make changes 
to these pages, heading, changing the, the home page, the footer. That's what we are going to see right in this tutorial. So you simply come back here to your application or to local by flywheel and you simply come over here to admin. And under admin, this is where you have to enter in the username that you set up. DN consult and the password and we log in. Boom. We are finally in our new locally designed WordPress website. Of course, we haven't yet made any changes on this website. So in the back end, this is how it looks like. This is how WordPress looks like. And on the front end, this is what other people who are going to visit this website, this is what they see. But at the moment, no one is able to access your website because it is on your computer. It is locally here and any changes will only be seen by us. And now what we are going to start doing is now customizing every bit of our website. But before we go into that, remember we still have local by flywheel. Whenever you are customizing your website, this application has to be running. That means that you have to be starting it on your computer. And once you start it, then you make sure that the website is actually running non-stop. Okay, so it has to be having this in green. And uh, the other thing, if you don't want to make any changes on your website, you can simply come back here on this application and say stop site. And now that means that that website will not be able to be accessed via the browser here in Chrome. Ideally, this application is working as our web hosting environment locally and enables us to use or to make changes to our website via the browser. And all this is locally and that's why you even see the domain over here. It is dnconsult.local. Now, once you change our website and move it to a hosting platform, it will have a domain like this, maybe your company name.com, your website or your personal name.com or something like that. Now, back here, at the moment, we can even close over this application, but remember, it will be running in the back end or we can simply minimize it and it goes down over there. And then now we have these two windows and we are going to be interacting with these two windows for the whole way throughout this tutorial.